This is Dr. Karen Howell, agricultural engineer. Even the water facilities aren't safe anymore. And the creature I saw down there was huge. And the poor souls I met there are surely dead by now. As is almost everyone else. I haven't found a single living survivor since I've left hydroponics. And what I've seen of the creatures indicates they have an ecology, a culture. They hunt in packs. They harvest their prey. They're not monsters. They're animals. Deadly animals. There is nothing to do but run. I'm going to take a tram to the shuttle bay. Maybe I'll find some other survivors there. But I doubt it. seeing things. God help me.
Is it over at last? sick. Are you a doctor? Yes, my name's Karen Howell. There's a medical room just around the corner. Can you walk? I think so. Be careful. The creatures are still out there. Sorry. Never mind. Let's fix you up. My head. I think I need to lie down. It would be better if you stayed awake. Can you do that for me? Now, let's take a look at you. I'm going to work up an antibiotic that'll give your system a kick start and clear your head. There. Now, what's your name? How did you get here? I'm Lexine. I came here from the colony. With some friends. But we got split up in the water tunnels. Dear God, I saw them! They're here? Where? Lexine, I'm sorry. They were attacked. I don't think they survived. What? No! You don't know, Ned. He wouldn't let them die. We have to go back to the tunnels and find them. All right, if that's what you want. But then we have to look for a way off the ship, okay? Okay, let's go.
I told you we must be quiet. It's not me. Then what is it? Where is it coming from? But your friends are dead. There's no way they could survive down there, and neither can we. We must get to the tram station. What were you and your friends doing on board the Ishimura? I thought there was a no-fly order. Don't you know? This is all happening in the colony too. Oh dear.
atmosphere control. It's the fastest route to the tram station from here. There's something coming. they were still alive we're alive no thanks to you doctor that's enough Eckhart you'd have run too if you had the chance I'm happy we didn't lose you thanks to dr. Hoyle she saved my life a cop a grunt and a suit quite the team don't get me started what are you doing there trying to trap those creatures in the water tunnels but I can't work out how to shut down the water flow systems then allow me. Hydroponics is my domain, remember? Great. Get on it. Is he in charge? He likes to think so. We were headed for the tram station to get to the shuttle bay. Funny. So were we. McNeil with me. We can scout the route while the dock does her thing. I'm coming too. Sure. Eckhart, stay here and keep the dock safe. Of course. You take good care of her, okay? If it weren't for Dr. Hoyle, I wouldn't be here. I'm not a miracle worker, dear. Your injuries still need time to heal. Take care of yourself. Lexine said you were an executive. She didn't say your name was Eckhart. Warren Eckhart, isn't it? That's right. Executive Director... Of Colonial Mining Operations. I know. You transferred to the Ishimura just a few weeks ago. <laughs> Worst bloody career move of my life. Nice to know my reputation precedes me. Sure it does. You're the one who switched all the personnel after they found the marker. One day, I had an assistant who'd been with me three years. The next, I found myself working with a grad student who spent her lunch hour praying to the marker. Staff rotation is standard policy, Doctor. Resource distribution is my responsibility. And what about seeding unitologists into every corner of the ship? Is that your responsibility too? I fail to see what difference someone's faith makes, Doctor. Look around, you stupid marker head. This awful mess is what difference it makes. If you think it doesn't... <coughs> no, Doctor! My God has very different plans! What's taking them so long? Maybe we should go back and check on them. Give them another minute. We made it down here without a scratch. I reckon this area is secure. Don't shoot! It's Eckhart! Run! They're everywhere! I don't see anything. 
They were right behind me, following the lift. Don't worry. You're safe now. Where's the dog? What happened? We were attacked and she... Hal locked herself in with them to buy us some time. Told me to go on. She's dead? You were supposed to protect her. She locked the door. There was nothing I could do. Frankly, she probably saved all of us. Are you sure? You thought I was dead before, but... Quite sure. I'm sorry, Lexine, but she's gone. And the time she bought us just ran out. Move! Get in the tram! We'll have to split up, find a shuttle. Is that really a good idea? The longer we stick around, the more chance of winding up like every other dead bastard on board. You and Lexine check out the flight deck. What about you? Me and Eckhart can take the maintenance deck. We might get lucky and find a repair job. And this is us. Come on, Eckhart. Good luck. Why me? Didn't want to split the lovebirds up. Exhausted. I can hardly believe I'm still upright. Adrenaline, do me a favor and keep it together a while longer. This thing isn't over. Yes, well, I wish it was. We're not all soldiers like you. Just focus on keeping yourself in one piece. You seem pretty good at that. Look up there, in the vents. Some of that fleshy substance. Yeah, somehow I knew this wasn't going to be easy. Keep it tight. This wouldn't be as awful if it wasn't so bloody dark. Just stay close. It's so dark in here. I'm scared. We shouldn't have left Lexi. We shouldn't have split up. Who even knows if there's a shuttle down here? Eckhart, shut up, or your big mouth will get us both killed.
keep moving. See a cut? Still in one piece. Open this door! No, sir. My lieutenant's orders were not to let anyone in here. You'll have to wait till he gets back. Your lieutenant's probably dead. I'm ordering you to unlock this door. Look out! Soldier, get out here and cover me! Soldier, I'm only gonna say this one more time. Open the door! Sorry, sir. I can't risk them getting in here. You just watched us kill them all! Bastard didn't even see it coming. Shit, the 
console's wrecked. Someone's got to go down there and flip the launch hatch by hand. Someone? I wouldn't even know what it looks like. Weller, there isn't a single shuttle on the flight deck. Every craft is either gone or wrecked. Figures, don't worry, there's one here. It needs a manual launch, but it should be okay. We're in Bay 47. Get here on the double. Weller out. I'll open the hatch. Eckhart, sit tight and wait for me. My pleasure. Zero gravity. There. The power cores. Halfway there. Just one more to go. Eckhart. How are you doing? Eckhart, come in! Damn it! Now leaving zero gravity. McNeil, we're ready to launch down here. Bay 47, hurry! We're on the tram now. McNeil out. I believe it is vital Lexine undergoes further examination on Earth. Altman be praised. End of mess. What the hell is going on here? Wella, this is confidential CEC business and none of your concern. How dare you? CEC? Sounded more like the church to me. But I guess there isn't much difference anymore, is there? You're in no position to question my authority, Sergeant. Don't talk to me about authority. Now, 
Let's hear that again. This is Overseer Eckhart, code word Oracle, with a message for Enigma Lang. Events on Aegis 7 and the Ishimura are extraordinary. The marker is genuine, though its effects are disturbing, and I am blessed to have survived. I have found the subject you were looking for, Lexine Murdoch, a, a surveyor. She appears immune to the marker's effects, as you predicted. Nobody knows but me. There was a botanist here who suspected my mission, but I've taken care of her. You son of a bitch! I'm afraid, sir. Sorry, sir. But I can't let you stop me. I must save Lexine, so that she can save all of us. McNeil was right about you. So were you, actually. But I can't allow your ignorance to jeopardize Unitology's mission. Why Lexine? She fits the profile. I didn't even realize it until we all got on board. But it all adds up. The church sent me to find her. And you just made my job easier. But nobody except the church can know about her. Not even Lexine herself. Not that she would understand. How could she? She's never even experienced this madness that the rest of us succumb to so easily. You must be pretty pleased with yourself. Please, Sergeant. I'm not an arrogant man. Merely devout. My reward will be... Sorry, Eckhart. You really were an asshole. But I guess nobody deserves to die like that. Not even... me.